for the third straight time this season. The Cajun Dome crowd goes home happy as Louisiana's Raging Cajun men's basketball team takes a win here at the Cajun Dome over Youngstown State. I'm Dan McDonald along with Myron Gillery. And Myron, Cajuns win 73-61, a game that they played a little shaky offensively for a good bit of the first half, but they really sort of found their offensive spark in the second half. And they did, Dan. In the second half, they came through. They did a very good job attacking the basket. And like I said, this is why they got to the free throw line so much, shooting 87% from the free throw line. Uh, that is unheard of. And so I think that was a big difference in the game. Cajuns shot only 34.6% in the first half. They improved that by almost 20 percentage points in the second half. They were 12 out of 22. They didn't have to shoot a lot of three-pointers. They were only three out of 13. But you talked about that free throw difference. Absolutely. They kept attacking. And so that's one thing I do like about this bunch. Their guards were attacking the rim. And so that's why they were at the free throw line. Great job by just staying aggressive. Youngstown State stayed close until the last few minutes. Got a few breakaway baskets, scored some in transition as Michael Buckle gets his basket down there. But that was a big time momentum basket by Wilson on the fast break dunk that he had. Malik Wilson played well for the freshman, but what can you say about Kobe Julian there? He gets two of his 23 points. I tell you what, Kobe, he was a monster tonight. This guy can play inside out basketball, big, strong, physical body. I love the way this kid plays. Jalen Johnson adds 16 points, his fourth straight double figure game of the season. And Cedric Russell came back after missing the second half against TCU. He gets 14 points. Overall, the Cajuns with a 73 to 61 win over Youngstown State. They improved to three and one on the season.